What's up YouTube? This is Lizard to one here and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 4.1 final. Now before we get on into the actual jailbreak itself, self, I want to warn you about a few things. Number one, this is a very dangerous jailbreak. This is probably one of the most dangerous jailbreaks. Not the actual jailbreaking process, but when you do jailbreak, some major functions of the iPod are gone. For example, you can't listen uh, you can go into music, but you can't play a song. You uh, can't search on Safari, but for some reason apps work. Cydia works. Multitasking works if you choose to enable that. Battery percentage works as well. It is a very, um, you know, dangerous jailbreak. And if you want to get out of it, the only way you can do so is by restoring your iPod in recovery mode. I recommend that you back up your iPod, definitely recommend you back up your iPod with iTunes before doing anything. And this is for iPod Touch 2nd generation and iPhone 3G, no MC models, not MC. We will be using Red Snow 0.9.5 B5-5 jailbreak and we have an iOS 4.0 IPSW that we are using. I figured this out yesterday and I posted a YouTube video, you can check that out here. Um, and so far that is the only way I've found a jailbreak. So this is kind of like a pre-jailbreak. It's still a jailbreak, but it's not full functionality jailbreak. But I'm still going to show you how to do it. And once again, warning, do this at your own risk. So let's get right on into this. Okay, first thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to prove to you that I am indeed running iOS 4.1. Just going to type my password. I'm going to go into settings, general, about, and there we go, version 4.1. This is a fresh install. As you can see, I have no apps. If I, if you think that I'm already jailbroken, I search for Cydia. Nothing comes up. I've got Game Center here, another proof to show you iOS 4. And when I double click the home button, multitasking does not come up. And I do not have battery percentage. So, we're going to jailbreak, and I'm going to show you that this is possible. Okay, so, you'll need a few things. Number one is the latest version of iTunes, iTunes 10. Your iPod Touch, obviously. Red Snow 0.9.5 B5-5. I'll put a link to that in the video description. And a IPSW file. Now... The only way I uh, found this jailbreak to work is using an iOS 4.0 IPSW. That is the only thing that will work. No idea how I figured this out. I just did. So what you're going to do is you're going to plug your iPod into your computer if it not is if it isn't already done so. Okay, as you can see, iTunes has popped up, and when it starts to sync, just slide to cancel. Alright, I've already backed this up, so that's why I canceled it. But if you haven't, don't cancel and let it back up. Oops, stupid thing is fine. Okay, now we're going to launch Red Snow Zero. Uh, 0.9.5 B5. iTunes can be running. I'm going to close it. Quit. Because it's tempting to back up, but it can't. Also, iPhoto if it pops up. We're going to launch Red Snow. Okay. Now, once again, I'll have the uh, downloads to this in the video description. But for now, you're going to click Browse. Look for the IPSW. So, as you can see, I've iPod. 4.0 restore IPSW Red Snow is going to process once again this is Red Snow 0.9.5 B5-5 and when this message comes up is this a new or fixed model you're going to click no because this is a non MC you're going to click next and it's going to do all this crap Okay, 
Now, I'm going to do all these. I'm even going to enable the home screen wallpaper because after this, I'm probably going to get out of this jailbreak because I'm just showing to you that, yes, you can jailbreak 4.1. I'm not a developer. Well, I am a developer, but I'm not a paid developer, so I don't have access to any of those betas. So, I'm going to do all this. Click Next. Make sure you install Cydia and do the other things at your home risk. I recommend enabling multitasking and battery percentage. Home screen wallpaper, you could do at your own risk. Now it says to turn the device off, but keep it plugged in at the same time. So you're going to slide to power off. You're not going to put it on standby. And there we go. There is me. The next uh, steps are pretty tricky. This is where people have a little difficulty. So I'm going to put my mic down here. I'm going to grab my iPod, and I'm going to click next. Hold the power button for two seconds. Hold down the home and power button for 10 seconds. Don't let go. Now let go of the power button, but continue to hold the home button for 30 seconds. Usually it takes less time than that. All right, there we go. Now you can let go as soon as it's just jailbreaking. Got a white screen here. Kind of thirsty. Sorry about that. Drop my mic. All right, downloading jailbreak data. This process takes a few minutes, so you could just sit back. Okay, uh, Red Snow is done. Whatever, whatever it's doing, it's done. So you could just click finish, and it'll quit. So now this process takes a little while. Running pineapple. Come on. Thankfully, YouTube now lets you upload in 15 minute in 15 minute videos cuz i don't think i'm going to get in the 10 minute mark so i've already got 8 minutes 16 seconds according to my zi8 once this is done we're going to have a reboot it's going to do that all automatically okay and there's the apple logo and this is an untethered jailbreak by the way of all warnings that I've told you, for some reason this still is untethered. I don't remember if I told you not, but this is an iPod Touch second generation. My iPhone is over here. I think boot up is the longest part. Okay, there we are. Entered passcode. I will do that now. And there's my home screen wallpaper. Uh, double click the home button. There's my multitasking. And up there, there's my battery percentage. There's Game Center, so there's more proof that it's iOS 4.1. And once again, if we go into settings, general, about, there we go, version 4.1, model MB, and I'm covering my serial number. But there it is, you can see that this is indeed iOS 4.1. So, no comments saying, this is fake. It's not fake. Okay, there's Game Center there, too. All right, and let's load up Cydia just to prove it. iPhoto and 
iPhoto has popped up on my Mac. Uh, gotta type my Wi-Fi password. This is hard with one hand. That's what she said. Organizing. 10 minutes, 44 seconds. If, you've all, if you have jailbroken in the past, you all know City is so slow. So be patient with the City. City is closing. City is doing something. I don't know what it's, what it's doing. I'm actually going to kill that for my multitasking bar even remember the app relaunch that and there we go developer no filters it's gonna load the data error refreshing data I always get that stupid message but er anyway there you go there's city up uh, can't score there. I don't want to go there. This is full on Cydia. I mean, what else do you expect? Uh, I'm not sure how compatible this is, cause I don't, cause there are probably no um iOS 4.1 jailbroken apps yet, cause I mean this is newly discovered really. And there's Game Center. Just to show you that this is indeed iOS 4.1. Really worth weighing this load. Speaking of Game Center, there I, I don't know Game Center games. Oh, I have to sign in. Okay. Well, anyway, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, do this at your own risk. And remember to favorite, comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. <laughs>